Hello viewer, and welcome to Hill Engineering's first instructional video. I'm Camille, and in this episode, we're going to teach you how to apply a strain gauge. The first step in applying a strain gauge is to prepare the surface. This includes solvent degreasing with a degreasing agent and isopropyl alcohol. This is followed by surface abrading over the strain gauge application area. If the conditioner is compatible with the test material, then abrading should be done while keeping the surface wet with the solution. Identify a smooth surface, such as an aluminum block, which can be used as a layout surface. Clean the surface with an alcohol-soaked gauze pad. Allow the surface to dry for 60 seconds. Once clean, refrain from contaminating the surface with skin contact. Using tweezers, remove the strain gauge from its envelope and set it on the layout block. Position a terminal pad beneath the gauge. Finally, remove a strip of cellophane tape and press down firmly over the gauge and terminal pad. Before any strain gauges can be applied, the tester must describe the desired location for the measurement to take place. This can be done with a precision scribing tool like this height gauge. Zero the tool on the top of the surface plate and adjust to the intended gauge location. The same must be done in the perpendicular direction to complete the crosshairs. The final task before the strain gauge can be applied is a secondary cleaning of the surface. Scrub the surface with the mild acid conditioner repeatedly using cotton swabs until one remains clean. Wipe the area dry with a single stroke of a paper towel, one direction at a time. Apply neutralizer once on the area using the same technique. For the next segment, make sure to have all materials available before beginning, as timing will be crucial. You will need the part in question, the layout block with the gauge, the catalyst and adhesive, gauze, and a working microscope. Carefully, lift one end of the cellophane tape and pull at a shallow angle to avoid damaging the gauge. Under a microscope, position the strain gauge on the part at the intended location so that the arrow tips of the gauge are within the scribed lines. With the gauge in place, lift one end of the tape and pull at a shallow angle. Roll back the installation tape and with your free hand, apply a thin, uniform coat of catalyst on the exposed surface of the strain gauge and the terminal pad. Allow this to dry for 60 seconds. Next, place one drop of adhesive at the junction of the tape and specimen. Holding the tape taut, slide your finger over the gauge assembly, sticking the gauge down to the surface. Press down vertically on the gauge with your index finger for one minute. Wipe away any excess glue. Keeping pressure is crucial to ensure no bubbles exist under the gauge. After waiting 60 seconds, verify the accuracy of the gauge placement under the microscope. If the gauge shifted during placement, remove with a thin blade and start again from surface cleaning. If the gauge has not shifted and there are no visible bubbles beneath the gauge, then it is good to use. I hope you've enjoyed your first Hill Engineering instructional video. If you found what you saw helpful, please subscribe below and give us a like. Then click on the links below to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more content from your friends at Hill Engineering. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, please leave them in the comments. And remember, make it happen. I'm stranded here alone. You promised I'll be home. But you tell me now, my plan is late again, babe. And all I can